Defense Updates has received large number of requests from the viewers, on why India chose to buy Rafale instead of increasing the number of Sukhoi 30 MKI, which is a very capable fighter. It is well known that Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, $75 million a piece, costs one-third that of Rafale, and India also has got excellent understanding of Su-30 MKI having used it for some time now. In this video, we look at top 5 reasons why India choose to have Rafale instead of having more Sukhoi 30 MKI. Number 5 Sukhoi Su-30 MKI is designed for air dominance. Su-30 MKI aerodynamic configuration is geared for air-to-air -air combat. The design allow for high angle of attack flights. The integral aerodynamic configuration combined with thrust vectoring results in extreme maneuverability. It is not that Su-30 MKI is not capable of ground attack, but it more of an air fighter. The Su-30 MKI has a range of 3000 km with internal fuel which ensures a 3.75 hour combat mission. Its air refueling system can increase the flight duration up to 10 hours with a range of 8000 km. Su-30 MKI can also use the Cobham 754 refueling pods. This means Su-30 MKI can go deep into enemy territories and take the fight to the opposing air force. The Rafale is referred to as an Omnirol aircraft, by Doso, its maker. Equipped with a wide range of weapons, the Rafale is intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike and nuclear deterrence missions. One important aspect is that Rafale can be used from carrier aircrafts, making it a very versatile fighter. As viewers may know, MMRC deal in which Rafael 1 stands for medium multi-role combat aircraft. So India's intention was to acquire a multi-role fighter instead of an air dominance fighter, which India already has in form of SU-30 MKI. Number 4 Sukhoi 30 MKI is a large aircraft and was also not designed with stealth in mind. The size has many benefits, but has a critical disadvantage. It has large RCS of 5. This makes it an easier target when compared to Rafale, which has a RCS of 1. So, in case of operations in regions defended by advanced air defense system with powerful radars, the Rafale is a much better aircraft. France is part of European Union, but it does not use Eurofighter Typhoon. France was humiliated in World War II. Since then, France has been very particular about building its own defense equipments, be it fighters or submarines. It is also known to have a very independent view about strategic relationships. This is very important, as France can be trusted, that it will not bow to foreign pressures to stop supplies, if and when India is in a conflict. India's experience with France has been good, it has been a, a very dependable partner for India. India has been using Mirage built by Dosso for a long time and it has been a very effective jet for India. From spare parts to repairs, France has stood by India. Russia has been the most trusted ally of India. It helped India in 1971 war, when US, UK, Pakistan had tried to defeat India. Russia has supplied India and continuing to do so, with top-of-the-line defense equipment. In late 1990s, Russia had transferred technology for Su-30 MKI, India's frontline fighter aircraft, which at that time was Russia's most modern equipment, its most modern plane. Recently, Russia has agreed to sell India, S-400, the most dreaded air defense system in the world. 
There is mainly one problem with Russia, that India must not be dependent on a single nation for the military equipments. There is a saying, do not put all your eggs in the same basket. Diversifying of critical equipments is must. Number 1 China, India's main adversary also uses Sukhoi flanker variants, which it had acquired from Russia. They have even reversed engineered these aircrafts. Though Su-30 MKI is customized by India with Israeli and French subsystems, China have decent idea of this aircraft, especially its aerodynamic capabilities. In any conflict, this can be very useful from Chinese perspective. Same goes for India. On the other hand, there is currently no roadmap, where Rafael can end into Chinese hands. This will give India an edge in air combat scenarios. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.